At the Department of Justice, not a week goes by where there are not multiple cases prosecuted of those who took advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic and the federal aid that followed. To date, there has been more than $836 million in COVID fraud, including $38 million in payments to those who the government knew had died. And then there are the scammers who got aid despite submitting photos of dolls with their applications, as reported on by The Messenger. Maybe we don't have the best oversight on the program. If you can cut out a picture of Barbie, put it on an ID, take a picture of your ID, and submit to the government and get money. Every year, Senator Rand Paul airs his spending grievances in his Festivus report. This year, highlighting what he sees as $900 billion in waste, including $89 million worth of military equipment that was improperly stored. $2.7 million to fund research focus on cats walking on a treadmill, not American cats, but cats from Russia, and another $6 million to help boost tourism in Egypt. Egypt gets over a billion dollars a year in military aid as well. So they get military aid, now we give them tourism aid, and they're run by a dictator, a guy that doesn't get elections. Government waste, along with the viability of long-term entitlement programs, are reasons why some, like Senators Mitt Romney and Joe Manchin, have proposed creating a bicameral bipartisan commission to focus on improving the country's financial health. There's no guarantee of success, but it's by far the best option there is to deal with the real structural issues Social Security, Medicare, taxes. This increased scrutiny on federal spending comes as Congress is in the middle of an intense fight over how to best fund the government, where to dole out the money and where to cut back. With January 19th and February 2nd deadlines fast approaching. On Capitol Hill, I'm Christine Frizzow.